Hey everybody, this is Tom and thanks for taking the time out to watch this video. Um, I wanted to start doing a devlog on a game that I'm working on called Last Stand. It's a base defender game where you have to defend against waves of zombies. Over the weekend, I worked on some of the UI related screens. So um, the main menu, uh, the level selection screen, the pause uh, menu. Um, the loading screen, all that type of UI related stuff started working on kind of ironing that out. And I just wanted to kind of give an update on that and show how the game works uh, right now. And, you know, as time goes on and I improve the game and, and kind of uh, start building levels, I plan to hopefully um, do more uh, videos of my progress. So let's get started. If I click on play here. This is the level selection screen. In reality, there's only one level, sample level that I created, and these stars and, and that type of stuff doesn't work. Um, right now, these locks don't actually reflect the levels that are locked or um, the progress that you made. I plan to start working on that type of thing next week. Um, but if you click on level one, it brings up the load menu and brings you here to the actual game. Um, so you'll notice that in the background here, we have some zombies that are waiting to uh, attack us. And you'll see that there's a green uh, line here. That line indicates your area versus uh, where the zombies are gonna be coming from. So let me click on structures and, I'm, and you'll notice if I move the sandbags over the green line, uh, the indicator turns red, meaning you can't place an item there. Um, so you can only place in your, your area that you control here. So I'm gonna place sandbags there and come over here and put um, some soldiers in, that, in the sandbags. And let's put some explosions. So these are some landmines. So as the zombies come along, um, and they hit them, they'll blow up. Let's put some fences here. Um, also, you'll notice that as I drag um, up here, uh, you see my money that I have left. So as I place items, all these items cost money. Um, so. Um, it'll deduct from from my total The one thing I do have to work on when you'll notice that I placed some uh, fence posts uh, and then deleted them and It still deducted my money. I have to fix that So if you delete something in this playing in this uh, layout stage, it doesn't actually deduct your your money so let's put some other soldiers there and Let's click on start. And you'll see that the zombies uh, start walking. And uh, my soldiers right now are just waiting for the zombies to come into their view range. And when they do, they'll start firing. Oh, and the zombies walked into that landmine. Here comes some more. And now they're sh my guys are shooting and they, they just blew up. Um, right now the the zombies they uh, when they get to the fence they just keep running. But what I'm gonna actually do is when um, the zombies hit the fence uh, they're gonna stop and actually start attacking the fence. Um, each one of these fence posts have a a health module on them so that so the fence will break over time um, I also plan to do some type of animation showing uh, the fence gradually break down and then it, you know it disintegrate w when the health hits zero and here uh, my uh, all the zombies are, are dead except for that one so I'm gonna come over here and shoot them 
So you can control your squad. I plan to also uh, have, once you select a squad, to have like a squad selection indicator where you could change your stance, maybe make your guys uh, form a straight line, um, a box like they currently are, that type of thing. Also, I'm, I'm kind of toying with the idea. I kind of like, you know, placing my guys and uh, then defending the waves. When I built this game, it wasn't really intended to be moving your, your characters around like you would in an RTS game. So I got to kind of work on that whole mechanics and, and kind of sort that out. And I also have to finish working on the wave manager. So like right now we finished all killing all the zombies, you know, that level should end and you should go to the next level, which will be harder and you'll have more types of zombies and you may, maybe some different types of missions where you're not just defending a base, but you're, you know, protecting hostages, uh, not hostages, but a group of, group, group of people or something like that. So, you know, just got to sort out the game mechanics and kind of figure that out. So, but in any event, so... Um, if I click the escape button, that'll bring me to the pause menu and I can um, restart the level. So if I click on that, it'll fade out and restart and we're back where we were before. Um, if I hit escape again, um, I can click on continue and that'll just unpause essentially. The settings button button I haven't I haven't implemented that yet. Um, but I plan to do like some uh, audio settings, visual settings, game settings, that type of thing. Um, and then give up will just bring you back to the main menu. Um, anyway, I hope you guys find this game uh, somewhat in interesting. Um, like I said, it's kind of like a hobby project, just trying to learn how to do game development. It's something I've always wanted to do as a kid. And, you know, with the Unity engine, it's actually something obtainable. So, hey, if you guys uh, have any feedback or comments or any game ideas um, that I, I can use to improve this, uh, please feel free. I always value feedback, good or bad. So, Anyway, uh, thanks a lot and hope you enjoyed the video. Take care. Bye.